Hey everybody, Anne here, and I know I said I was going to take it easy today, but I had an idea and I just couldn't sit around doing nothing. I'm not dashing today, so I decided to look out my shed and see if there's anything I could find to build a, a little raised bed with. This thing has completely come off. That's alright, I'll figure out something else to do with it. But, you know, this pile of wood has been kind of calling my name. You know, in fact, something like that, it's all tongue and groove, would be something I could use for the ceiling. Now, I'm not going to be able to use these boards because they're kind of, they're kind of tore up. But let me see if I can find some that will work just to make a little raised bed. All right, I picked my boards out, and I have to tell you, I have basically zero carpentry skills. So... I'm going to see if I can set my camera up on this thing. Uh, maybe it won't fall over so you can watch me as I fail, as I try and build this little raised bed garden box thing.
Okay, seriously, this is not even perfectly square. It is not perfectly square, but it's sturdy enough. I mean, nobody's going to be sitting on it. I'm just going to throw some dirt in it. See, that edge is totally not square. But you know what? It's just about six inches tall, and that's going to be perfect for growing lettuce and spinach, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know. I think I should take this outside and fill it up with some dirt. Another thing I did was I added this screen. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I just stapled it to the edges. It's just kind of like a fabric screen that I used to use for my van when I would keep the barn doors open. I'd put a screen over I'd, with magnets. Um, I know that garden bed lining stuff would probably be better, but, uh, you know, this will provide drainage and hopefully keep from any weeds from coming up. So I just went ahead and added that too. Now it's time for dirt. I've gone ahead and put it over here. This ground is pretty flat here and uh, Betty can't get to it. Her lead won't get this far. I haven't put it right underneath of the, um, where the rain comes down, but uh, you know, I might be able to move it a little bit later, I'm not sure. So I figured this would be a good place. It doesn't get full sun all day. It does get sun part of the day. Of course, right now it's really pretty, you know, overcast. But I think this will be a good spot. We'll just have to try it out and see. I started with just a layer of some leaves, crinkled up leaves. Actually, I used the ones that were in my bucket for my composting toilet. Tried to crumble them up as best as I could, mixed with a little, a few dried grass clippings and other stuff. And then I'm going to see if I have enough uh, hummus and manure and topsoil to fill this whole bed. I don't know. And nope, not enough soil, not enough hummus, manure, compost mix uh, to be able to fill this bed. Looks like I'm going to need about two more bags of the soil and one more bag of the hummus, hummus, however you say it, mixture to be able to bring this up high enough so that I can plant my seeds in it. But you know what? It's looking pretty good. I think this is going to work. So even though I wasn't able to get seeds planted today because I definitely need more soil and whatnot in there to build that up a little bit more, I feel like I accomplished something. I built something all by myself, even though it's kind of janky looking. I don't care. It's going to work. It's going to work just fine. And uh, another reason for the the um, screen underneath is I've got like a, a bunch of little burrowing type animals around here. I mean, there's holes all over this property. I don't know what they are. Uh, some of them are big. Some of them are small. They could be snakes. Who knows? But um, I'm hoping that that will keep keep that down and they won't be able to get in and eat my vegetables. So in this bed um, I'm just going to be planting spinach and lettuce and neither one of those need very deep soil. They just like a, a wider bed. Really if I could have a couple more inches higher I think that would be better but I think this will do just fine. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now and once I put more soil in it and actually plant in it I'll keep you updated. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.